Hey hello everyone my name is Dinesh Krishnan in this video we're going to understand how to add a filter to the Spring Boot application let's see how to do that so we already have application let me simply add a new package so I'm going to call this package actually what you know filter inside this package I'm going to create the class called my filter underscore one so this is my filter right so let me add the filter class so in order to create a filter of course you know you have to implement the interface called filter so make sure that you know the filter you select from java x.servlet package that's very important once that is done so what you have to do you have to override a method so i'm going to override a method called what in do filter that should take what a servlet request as well as server response and then filter chain has an argument right now we are trying to override this method Inside this method, I'm not going to do any any fancy implementation. I'm just simply going to print what you know the system dot dot print in. I'm going to say that the filter one is called right. So after the filter is called, I just want to continue the process right. So to do that, what I have to do filter chain dot. So we have the filter chain object here instance here. So filter chain dot do filter. Then I'm going to pass what you know the servlet request object and servlet response object, right? Once that is done, so what you have to do just annotate this class as what you know the component. Make sure that you know the component from org spring framework dot studio type. So now let's quickly run this application. We'll see whether our filter is working or not. Here we go. Our application is started. Now let's go to what you know. Let me clear this console. Because you know we, I'm trying to see the system dot dot print in here. So now let me actually what you know run this application. Now you can see that what you know we got a response, but before that you know our filter is actually what you know called. Now this is how you can actually what you know add a filter into a Spring Boot application. So whatever step you want to do it here, yes you can of course do that. So that's up to you.